ladies and oh! welcome to the very first episode of So You Think You Can Thrift, the game show where contestants battle it out to become the queen of thrifting. Our contestants today include me, your host, Pretty Pastel Please, who you may recognize from such shows as My Botched Nose Job and Spending $500 at Wish. In the right corner, we have Camilla. We have Caitlin! <laughs> Tiasha! <laughs> and, uh, hello, you know me. Our categories today include... Yeah. <laughs> sorry. No, I had a job. I wrote, I wrote a script. Again, sorry. <laughs> the rules are simple. For each of the five categories below, choose your very best item from your own collection of thrifted items at home. Absolutely no cheating. No buying new items specifically for this video. Entries must consist exclusively of items you already own. The categories are as follows. Category one, clothing. Category two, shoes. Category three, accessories. Category four, home decor. Category five, miscellaneous and category six our bonus category a photo of something that you saw in a thrift store but you didn't buy or maybe you did buy it and it was just too heavy to bring along today or maybe you owned it at one point and you've, you've since given it away that's category six we'll be casting a vote for each category cannot vote for yourself and then at the end we'll tally up the votes and we'll see who wins each category and who will be crowned the overall thrift queen. I was feeling very, very confident because I feel like I've really stayed true to myself in this. But then I remembered some of the stuff Millie has and now I'm sweating. I'm oh, feeling so crash hot. I think a lot of pressure has been put on me to be the best. And I've seen the competition from Tiasha at least because we live together and it's tight. It's a tight competition today. There is no hope for me. There is no hope at all. How are you feeling? I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Category one, the clothing category. Let's start with you, Millie. All right, let me reach deep into my thrifted bag. Oh, this is thrifted. This is thrifted. <laughs> oh God. I thrifted this quite recently, maybe a month and a half ago, when I had already vowed to not buy any more clothes. But thrifting does not count because it's giving back. It is this extremely <gasps> beautiful and delightful. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't not. It was 39 Australian dollars. Um, it was from a shop called Swap the color in Newtown. So cute. Isn't it? So cute. It's everything to me. It's everything to me. And it's in my size, and I was like, this is fate. Alright, that's that's Millie. Caitlin. I have one piece of clothing, and that is this. I got this in Japan. I was so surprised. It was the biggest thing I found in Japan. <laughs> and it was like, I don't even know what's going on. Oh, it has belt holes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like <laughs> 10 maybe five dollars it was cheap oh. i was really i was really nice it's it. lovely that is very nice yeah. beautiful <laughs> Ooh, oh, so I I knew. this I is my this. favorite piece of clothing mm -hmm. oh. it is a kind of technicolored floral overcoat that's very thin so you can wear it in summer yeah. and it makes the most basic like outfit like just a black pair of jeans and a black top Suddenly, like the best thing at the party. That's really Thank you. Yeah. And it was, I think, fifteen dollars wow. Australian dollars. So like, it Nothing. was very cheap. Mm. I have never seen anything like it's it, so and I nice. don't think I ever will. Is it so, reversible? It looks reversible because look how beautiful the, the inside, inside is. Like, wow! Stunning. I love but that. I don't think is it is. It, oh, it's not like that on the outside. No, oh. isn't that? It's mm. it's like inverted. Wow! Oh, it's the best, <laughs> and it's so, so oversized, and it fits everyone, and just looks. I so love nice. it. I wear it. That's beautiful. Yeah. All right, my entry is also purchased in Japan. This is a pastel cashmere turtleneck. Uh, I paid a disgusting amount of money for this. I want to rip it out of your hands. How <laughs> <laughs> much? How much? Two hundred dollars. What? That is a lot. Wait, Australian? Yeah. What? It's a lot. It's um, a lot. So, <laughs> but, but, but. so basically, I found it in a thrift store in Koenji, uh, and. I walked in and I saw it on the hanger and I was like, I'm gonna buy that. And I pulled it out and then I looked at the price tag and I thought I was misreading it. I thought, oh yeah, it must be 20 bucks. There's an extra zero in there by accident, but no, no, it was, it was $200. So I put it down and I didn't buy it. And I went out for lunch and I couldn't stop thinking about it. And uh, what I did, I took note of the brand 
It's called Pia Kenza or P-I-A-C-E-N-Z-A. Uh, it says pure cashmere and I googled the brand and I actually saw these selling on eBay for about a thousand dollars So then I was like, okay, I felt like I was getting a good deal. I've saved money <laughs> I saved money um, And also like it it's look beautiful. It's cashmere. My favorite color is lilac and it's the most beautiful pastel rainbow on the back It's a rainbow on the front. It's this like diamond yeah, kind of pattern oh, it's so, so hard. So that's I look I know it's a lot of money, but it's worth it. It's cashmere. Yeah, it's cashmere. My eyes are just like this. watering. I'm confused and baffled. It's so beautiful. But it is so pretty. It's so beautiful. We have my thrifted shell vases that we're going to be using to cast our votes in today. So right. here's the thing, before we continue, I am trusting you when you said that you looked this up and it was a thousand dollars. Well, I, there was a listing on eBay. Mm. I put the listing up. <laughs> This competition just got dirty. Round two now, guys. Shoes. So these I found. Oh! oh yeah. Oh. Oh. I, I, you were holding it like that, and I was like, oh yeah, and you took your hand away. <laughs> <laughs> these are secondhand Gorman shoes. Oh, they're Gorman? Yeah, so I, I think it's just an Australian brand, but Gorman is a very brand. fancy, expensive brand. But these were like $50. Secondhand. And look at these heels. Like I'm very scared of them. I think I will break an ankle if I wear them. Hang on, you mean to say you would have a ball if you wore those out? Should I be doing that? <laughs> 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 the so not as cute as you are. <laughs> These are the shoes I bought. Oh, what? I like them. I like them. They are big shoes. They big they're shoes. very comfortable. Are you a nine as well? Uh, I'm like a ten and a half. Whoa! Uh, they're just real comfy. I love them. And they give off like a librarian vibe, which I'm kind of about. I think they're stunning. So they're really, they're really cool. Yeah. Those yeah. would have been so expensive. So I these think. were like. 15 bucks from like Salvos. So, uh, yeah. I love a good leather shoe. Tiasha wore her school shoes. She still does. She still Way does. beyond yeah. school because they were like these brown leather ones and I was obsessed. But I like that. I just like that she went outside the box because it is so yeah. easy to just pick like the cutest thing in yeah. your wardrobe. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I love it. I see your leather shoe oh and God. I raise you. Original <laughs> Doc Martin. <laughs> made in England. With what? the old logo on the bottom. Yes! They are so oh, old, wow. they're red, and they have tartan inside oh, lining those it. are cool. Wow. These were $40. Yep. I never wear these. I've never seen them. Which is insane, because they're so cool. I think it's so cool to find like an original design of something. That's obviously what makes thrifting so cool, is that you see things that you've never seen before. It's like a time capsule, you're going back in time. And uh, I like to see that the Doc Martin tartan aesthetic has survived the ages. <laughs> I'm just gonna say to begin that we just moved and all of my things are in boxes. And when Tiasha and I went to Japan, I bought like 10 pairs of shoes, I thrifted them. And I couldn't find them, they're in boxes. You sound but excuses. Excuses? Yeah, we're hearing a lot of talk. Here's a pair of shoes that I bought for Thriftmas. They are sparkly, oh, sparkly, pointy slippers. Um, these were five dollars from these. I wow. love them. I just when I saw them, I was like, I need to lounge around my house yeah. in like a robe and kill my husband. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they said. Dan, are for. did you hear that? Are they building robe for that actually? <laughs> they <laughs> are comfortable to the extent of you could lie yeah. on the couch and wear them. <laughs> Actually, yeah. like in them, but like on the on them. Yeah, yeah. I don't see much of a soul. There's no support. There's no support. So those shoes that you can't actually use, you can't actually like walk around in them. Round three. Accessories. Accessories. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> this is a belt. You thrifted that? Yes. What? I just found it at the Salvos in Tempe. That is so cool. And it's just diamante. I actually oh have not worn God. this yet because I'm crazy. But it's just a little too much. But I love it. But like, <laughs> it's just a little too much. <laughs> Maybe like one or two diamonds yeah. is too much. So just take a couple of them off. So accessories with like handbags and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, and I kind of took this a little broadly. Um, oh my Ah. What? This is my accessory. Obsessed. Uh, it's luggage bag. Um, <laughs> it's luggage bag. It's really beaten worn out because I've been using it. It's sick. I got it for like, like ten, fifteen dollars. I, I didn't. Almost didn't get it. But I was like, mm, luggage. I just ignored it. And I went, 
No, actually, that's not bad. <laughs> so this is my accessory. Look, if, if you're an influencer and you take pictures at the airport, it is an accessory, let's it be is, honest. So like, is. I'll allow it. Can I just say, Kaylin, that that is the most you thing you've ever done? <laughs> In the depths of Romania. Whoa. And it's in the It's cursed. It's cursed. It's, that's what it's, it's, it might be, but you know how I feel about cursed objects. I love them. Rich ass outfit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like embroidered and I just fell in love with it. I thought it was so amazing. It's really cool. Yeah. It's a whole frux. Yeah, it's a whole frux. It's and you know I constantly complain about ghosts being in my life. It's I've never it's once <laughs> looked at the weird locket I got from Transylvania. <laughs> Because like it's it's really cool. Just because it's cursed doesn't mean it's not cool. <laughs> My accessory. Oh, oh I hate you. A little Louis Vuitton pochette. Uh, my mum actually thrifted this for me. So, but it's thrifted and I own it, so I'm gonna kill it. it. Um, I don't know if it's it's probably not authentic, but let's just say for the sake of this, I got a real Louis Vuitton thrifted bag. Um, I really like the pochette design, and I never used to like the bow, so I used to wear it out like this. Uh, I would wear it that way because I didn't want people to see the bow. I like but the bow. I, I've, it's grown on me. I really like the bow now. So that's my that's my pochette. It's really popular on Instagram to have these little tiny shoulder bags. Round four. Home decor. Show us your best. I'm so proud of this. I'm so happy with it. I got it the other day off Facebook Marketplace. It was five dollars. It's the IKEA Skolig lamp, which is currently reselling on every single vintage Instagram page them. for like two hundred Australian dollars. Yeah, can and you I was know? like, I can't justify that because it's not like IKEA is not vintage. It's just not girl. But that one's from the nineties. Nineties. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I just. This is everyone wants this. Like, it does look this. like it would match like the old style Apple yeah. computers. Yeah. Like yeah. you can see the room it belongs yeah. in. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. So you can get this in like blue and yellow, but the green was actually my favorite. So I wanted the most. Oh really? It was five dollars. And also five dollars. Five dollars. And it works. So brand new looking too. She looks yeah, it's just right. lovely. Yeah. It's a children's lamp. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> For babies. Uh, Caitlin. Oh, I'm quite proud of this one. Oh, you know, just, you've been, the aesthetic I'm building is again, 60 year old lady. I'm this is it. not going to stop here. Is it like knitting, uh, knitting needles? <laughs> it is a uh, little action. tea. <laughs> it's a little tea box. Oh, um, it's so cute. And it's got like English breakfast tea, a blend of fine tea producing a distinctive English brew. It's like handmade in India. Oh, it's wow. silver. I got it like two bucks. Yeah. I've cleaned it once and I need to clean it again because it looks like yeah. it just needs a polish. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. so yeah. beautiful. And it's it's so literally cute. plated in silver. I'm in love with it. It's um, really cute. I'm in love with it. It's that. just the cutest little darn thing. I love it. <laughs> That's a so I love it. You have nice. such a strong it's so strong. <laughs> Alright guys, so, so some of you, you might have seen this from my Instagram. So I got this and how much was it? 15? 15? And wow. it's a lamp. It's a functioning lamp that can be bent oh. to any shape you like. Oh. And this was originally white. And what I did was spray paint it this ombre oh, pink really? orange. Yeah. So I did that myself. We did oh, a lot of And so you can actually like, it can bend and sit up like that. Oh. But I actually have like a lamp pole that I've twisted it onto so it's looking down oh. at like this big giant flower structure. It's so beautiful. So it's I feel so like cute. I get extra points for DIY. Yeah, I would say um, so. I think it's cheating and you should be spilled. <laughs> 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 Mushroom lamp that is apparently from 1980. They're all like here. All through these yeah, IKEA lamps. Like I think so from the design, like oh in the, the labeling. Yeah. So I'm to tell left out here, guys. So, so um, I manifested this lamp into existence. I was walking toward 
the Vinnies in Windsor and I was like, mushroom lamp, mushroom lamp, <laughs> mushroom lamp, swear to God. And then I walked in and this was there. Oh, oh and I was like, my prayers have been answered. It's a oh pink mushroom lamp. Oh, it was meant well. to be, <laughs> I manifested it. So um, um, it works perfectly. And when you turn it on, it casts a really beautiful pink light all across the room. Where's your lamp, Caitlin? <laughs> we should have a lamp decor. Was it like lamps? We should have a lamp category. I was pretty happy with a silver plated tea box. I thought it was cute. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is, I love Ikea lamps. Yeah. This is really difficult. Round five, miscellaneous. So this is literally absolutely anything that you've thrifted that's cool. So, Billy. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. It's so dumb! It's, it's so, so dumb! dumb. It's, it's so cute! So this is a tiny velour pink couch. <laughs> I want that as a- <laughs> at something else but it's just my favorite thing that's in the world that's incredible that's good it was the first shoes. published in 1964 oh and it smells a like different time yeah she likes the smell of old books if you could bottle yeah. old books oh, it is nice my smell. absolute favorite thing i've ever thrifted oh, that's oh. really cool. that's good i love finding old books and how outdated the advice can be. Even the picture, like, help a woman out of a car. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so classic old book. Can we just talk about Caitlyn's selections in general? The because entire aesthetic. I'm obsessed with that old woman. So How old is she? 120? Timeless. Yeah, timeless. She is the ghost that's haunting my pen. This says on the back, Colin's Nutshell Books, number one, your dog. You mean there's an etiquette for your dog? Okay, wait, prefacing this, this was technically not thrifted in a sense that I picked them out of my neighbor's trash. We will allow it. Thank you. I'll allow it. <gasps> Whoa. It's an old lamp. Another lamp. <laughs> but look at this. It's some sort of like oil coil lamp. Tiasha, you light up my life. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> well, neither of them work functionally. No, I'm going to get someone to work on this. But okay. aesthetically, isn't it so beautiful? Really cool. yeah. Look at it. It's so cool. It's so wicked. Sands of shoes, everything one of these has a flower motif. Yeah, I know. Oh, I, know. Yeah, I didn't yeah. even think I liked they flowers. They all have flowers! I'm one with nature, what can I say? Alright, my entry. Some of you guys are going to see this and know exactly why I've entered this. I... Uh, ah! Yeah. I they have no idea. I don't know why, but I love it. I don't know why. There was a drama behind this. In episode one of Thriftmas, I went to a bunch of thrift stores and I bought things. I bought this for five dollars at the Vinnie's in Richmond. I showed myself on camera picking things up and saying, I don't like the colour of this, I'm going to spray paint it. And everyone left comments saying, Alex, don't you dare spray paint that. That's an antique vase from Finland, valued at a thousand dollars. It's a piece of art that's very highly prized. Alex. You can't spray paint it. I already spray painted it by the time I uploaded that video. Uh, so I ran to Bunnings and I bought a product called Goof Off. And I, I goofed. I goofed. So hard. And luckily for me, when I sprayed the Goof Off, the, the spray paint peeled straight off. It was unharmed, undamaged. This is uranium glass. Uh, under black light, it glows. These sell on eBay anywhere from $500 to $2,000. My jaw dropped when Alex pull this out because first of all like you know without the backstory I love it I like, like it when she was like I spray painted I was like why I would never have thought this was like some designer art piece though because it really does just look like a really cool jar and glass has been so mass manufactured yeah so exactly but I'm obsessed and I think the color is actually really unique so yeah. I would definitely I would treasure this so I'm really jealous that she got it 
Now for our final round, this is the photo round. So we all have to pull out a photo of something and it can be something that you saw in a thrift shop you didn't actually buy, or it could be something that you've bought in the past that you've given away or whatever. So we're all gonna get our phones. Yes. So what have you got for us? It's a capsule I found on the street trash, um, but it's like <laughs> this beautiful yellow corduroy. <sighs> I just loved cute. it. This is your thing. I want like a 70s decor house Actually, eventually. She's, she's on the money. I do quite like this. So, like so you saw it what? On the, the street? On the street near our house. But at that point, Tiasha had actually developed a couch hoarding problem. So we had like two already. <laughs> and I was like, I can't bring a third couch into this very small house. <laughs> so this is these. So oh, I yeah. thrifted. Um, Caitlin right. did all the like the so, invitations yeah. for our wedding, the signs, everything. She's a graphics designer, hit her up. So I designed like the images, I got them printed, but the big thing was I went thrifting for the frame. So I got a bunch of uh, painting, well, not paintings and prints and stuff. Let's go. Is it no, the ghost! The ghost! <laughs> ghost. Oh, Be gone. But, um, so I got a bunch of these gold frames and uh, printed them at the right size, put them in, and like the joy of seeing them on the day, like in position Aww. and in the places. It was beautiful. When we Aww. had our wedding outdoors and the thing said like, welcome to the wedding of Alexander and Daniel. And it was like this beautiful, huge gold frame and we put flowers over it. It was on an easel and like, it looked amazing. So and they all fun. matched really well. Like yeah. each single one kind of looked like the others. It's very just... easy to thrift gold things. Like yeah. every gold mirror in this room, these are all thrifted. Like why don't people want that gold aesthetic? It's beautiful. It's so I got a set of Wiggles drawers. Wow. Despite having Wiggles on the top, which I keep covered at all times. It's just like a really nice color block moment in yeah. my bedroom. And I like color blocked furniture. So it's very cute. for me, oh, and mm, yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so my thing is this this whole outfit I thrifted in Japan with t -Asha. I love that outfit. It's my favorite outfit. The name she's an outfit. Oh, it's good. Oh, fuck, you're gonna win. The whole thing was, it was on a mannequin and I just stole it straight off the mannequin. The necklace, the corset, the dress, yeah. the cape. Turned out the dress is from the 1960s. It's like a highly sought after dress all over on the internet. It comes in different colors and like people sell it on eBay for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And I think I got the whole outfit for 80 bucks. I think you have an eye for things that are being slept on. Yeah. Yeah, price. <laughs> like my stuff was worthless before and is worthless after. But yours was like, yours always ends up being like plot twist. It was a thousand dollars. Like what? It was awesome. Everything I buy, I'm gonna die with. Yeah. <laughs> Buried with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got leather shoes. Too. Yeah. <laughs> that concludes all six rounds. We are going to count the votes, and when we return, someone will be crowned the queen of thrifting. The girls think that I asked them here to film like a thrift shopping competition, but what they don't realize is it was actually an elaborate ruse just to get Millie to bring her best thrifted items to my house. Um, they're mine now. I'm not giving them back. <laughs> this, is, this is my dress. I actually, I think it looks really nice on me. It's really cute. It's very, very comfortable. I'm really excited to put my jewelry in this little jewelry box. I'm really, really happy with how these shoes fit. Like they are exactly my size. And um, yeah, M Millie's never getting any of it back. Let's be honest, it's fine now. The votes are in. So for category one, Millie. <laughs> Millie. <laughs> Alex. Tiasha. Oh. Two votes for Millie. Millie wins the clothing. Oh. Category two, shoes. One vote, Tiasha. Yes. One vote, Caitlin. What? Oh. Okay, I'll take it. Two votes, Tiasha. Yes! Three votes, Tiasha. Yes! Thank you, everyone! Category three, one vote, Alex. One vote, Tiasha. One vote, Millie, Ooh. one vote, Caitlin. What? Hey, wait, hang on, the suitcase got a vote? Yeah. <laughs> Category four, lamps. <laughs> one vote, Caitlin. Hey, I'm winning lamp category. <laughs> one vote, Millie. Ooh. One vote, Tiasha. Ooh. Two votes, Tiasha. Oh, clear up, baby. There's a question mark. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't sure. He's, oh, I wasn't sure about it. Fair no enough, one voted enough. for my. Mushroom lamp? No, it was really good. Why did you vote it was for a it? tough category. No one voted for me. Millie's had clouds on them. Tasha made hers. Yeah. <laughs> category five. Oh boy. Miscellaneous. Oh shit. One vote, Alex. Mm -hmm. One vote, Caitlin. Oh. One vote, Millie. Oh. Two votes, Alex. Oh, oh, nice. The vase. The vase is good. The photo. 
Nico category. One vote, Alex. One vote, Caitlin. One vote, Millie. Two votes, Caitlin. <laughs> so I'm just going to gather up all the votes for everyone now. Oh shit. And, uh, it is close. It's very close. In total, Caitlin received one, two, three, four, five, six That's votes. Right. That's pretty good. Caitlin That's pretty good. received That's good. six That's votes. Pretty good. Pretty good. Tiasha received one, two, three, four, five, six, seven votes. Oh, tight. It's so tight. It's so tight. I received one, two, three, four, five votes. I'm so sorry. Just so like one more. And Millie received one, two. Next, would you like to see us host a thrifting for e-girls or thrifting for goths or, or what do you want to see? If you want to see this competition carry on, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already. You can find Millie and Tiasha on YouTube at The Marshmallow Girls. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>